I love innovation in the garden. It just makes gardening so much easier. And I've discovered a brand new sprayer, a so much better way to be able to spray your garden for pests and to apply fertilizers. Old fashioned sprayers, the ones we all know and love to hate that is, have a number of failures in design and they're what causes the frustration when you're trying to get a job done. For a start, there's a lot of moving parts and these suffer wear and tear. My experience is the handles tend to break first. The constant movement also wears seals and other moving parts and this usually means they have a lifespan of just a few years at best. And then there's the pumping action. To spray a garden would require at least 125 pumps of the spray arm to maintain enough pressure to get the liquid out. And that's a lot of work. So when the team at Holman told me they created this, a pressurized sprayer that you don't have to manually pump up, I went, that is incredible. In fact, I said, no way, as Nigel would say it, but it is, yes way. It's an incredible new invention. Come on, I'll show you how it works. The Easy Spray sprayers have a pre-pressurized tank. Now, before you fill the sprayer with water, check that you have at least one bar of pressure on the gauge. If not, pump it up with a bike pump until there is. Then fill by grabbing the garden hose and pressurizing using that pressure. Watch until the tank is full and you're ready to go. Of course, it works just like a normal sprayer once you're ready to get out and use it in the garden. And it's brilliant for just misting your favorite plants. If you've got a glass house or something like that, applying liquid fertilizers over the top of plants like this, or applying fungicides, herbicides, or insecticides. And the interesting thing about it is that it's got this adjustable spray head. So you've got four different patterns to apply in four different ways for obviously four different tasks. One of the reasons so many sprayers fail is the bad habit of leaving chemical residue in the bottom of the tank after spraying. And it's very important you care for your sprayers the right way, which means after treating anything in the garden, whether it be using a chemical or fertilizer, it's vitally important you rinse the tank afterwards. So fill the tank once empty with fresh water, point the nozzle of the spray gun into a bucket and hold the trigger until the contents have emptied out. Then take your easy spray and store it in a cool, dark place, like the garden shed. I've seen some pretty impressive innovations in the 35 years that I've worked in the garden industry, but I've got to tell you, I think this is one of the very best. A sprayer that's pressurized all the time, that doesn't have all the pitfalls of the old fashioned designs, brilliant. If you want to find out a bit more, check out this website.